Hello everyone, my name is Karan and in this video, we will discuss about IP strategies for tech startups. A startup is not everyone's cup of tea. People behind successful startups face lots of difficulties and hardships, mostly are finance related problems. So if anyone is passionate about their work and wants to start a startup in India, then it requires more and more efforts and patience because a startup does not instantly earn you money. There are many examples where people give their 100% efforts but they didn't succeed because they are not informed of the proper plans and some IP strategies for tech startups. So you may be wondering that why is IP protection necessary for tech startups? Many startups can't afford to risk losing their IPRs. Getting essential intellectual property protection does not require a huge amount of money or a team of attorneys. To get IP protection, small legal research is required with prescribed fees, which are not too expensive but the advantages are vast. Your intellectual property rights are protected by formal registrations like copyright registration, trademark registration, patent registration, etc. This protection can help you to avoid getting sued in the future. When you get ownership of a patent or copyright, the assumption is that property is yours. When someone else violates your intellectual property, the courts will believe that your intellectual property is yours unless the other party proves. Now let's discuss IP strategies for tech startups. The first one is to estimate your core assets and decide IP protection you need. Startups are prone to lose their IPRs for their dedication and hard work, as many of them hesitate to invest in IP protection. Companies should estimate their core assets and think themselves if they should or should not protect their IP. Some cost-effective and simple measures can help you to minimize the anxiety of safeguarding core assets of your company. Now the second one is don't let others to claim ownership of your intellectual property. A co-founder agreement is essential and it can help you to avoid many mistakes down the road and it can also help in preserving the connections. This informality often leads to individuals submitting funding applications together which can be very confusing and uncomfortable for co-founders. So the third one is getting contributors to allot their IP rights to the company. Many parties may be involved in a company formation. A company should get the intellectual property assigned to them through a contract to use them without obstruction. The owner of IPRs hold exclusive rights until the contract has been terminated. So at the end of this video, after discussing the essential IP strategies for tech startups, it is clear that it is vital to understand IP strategies before starting any tech startups in India. However, tech startups are only for those who have lots of experience and investment. I hope you like this video. For more updates, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.